Fall back. You're falling back. No energy. Set. Go. The program that we're running, it's the Comprehensive Soldier Fitness Program. For soldiers that uh, have had problems with making height and weight or uh, they can't pass a physical fitness test, and those are two items that uh, will prohibit them from re-enlisting. Those soldiers are very valuable to us, they're valuable to their commanders, and obviously the soldiers want to get into better shape, they want to stay into the Army. So we run a two-week program where we promote uh, healthy living, uh, better fitness, do a, a really good exercise program for them. Uh, while we're there, uh, we have a cadre there that are, are all very good PTers. We don't want to lose good soldiers, we want to keep them. So in order to retain them, we have to get them to pass the PT test, the APFT. We have to get them to make height and weight. There are standards for your age, your gender, um, and they need to meet those standards. And we're here to help them do that. They're here because they want to make height and weight, they want to pass PT, and they want to stay with the guard. I've wanted to do this for a couple years now. You know, and then when it came down to my reenlistment time, it came down to like, I need to go now, like send me now. <laughs> and I wanted to get where I needed to be so I could get that new enlistment. Um, my wife just gave birth to our first daughter and I gained a lot of sympathy weight, over 30 pounds. Um, and that affected my PT, my wellness, my health. And that wasn't, that wasn't right with me. Training NCO offered it up. I was the first one to volunteer. The reason this program exists, the reason why you're here is because you're a valuable asset to us, okay? We, as the Maryland Army National Guard, are a big family, all right, and we want to keep you. And if you didn't want to be here, you wouldn't have come, right? Your commanders want you back in the units. They don't want to lose you. Mine was definitely for re-enlistment. I've struggled with weight for a good while now, and uh, I can pass the PT test, but I have trouble with the height and weight. And so that's why I'm here. I wanted to get those nutritional facts and the physical fitness uh, facts and knowledge so that I can keep this going. We're giving them all the information that they need so that they can really go home and, and continue with it. 80% of being physically fit is really nutrition. So we're trying to give them a lot of good information. We teach them you know, how, to, how to cook healthy, eat healthy, uh, healthy portion, portion control. You know, we're doing PT in the morning, we're doing PT in the afternoon. All the, the cadre here are amazing with all the nutritional facts and the physical fitness facts that they have for us. It's amazing. If we have people that pass the APFT and pass their way in, we re-enlist them. So it's a bonus not only for the soldiers and their units, it's also a bonus for recruiting and retention and for the state because we have to keep more of our own soldiers. I want to be healthy. Uh, I'm 30 years old with my first kid now. I want to make sure I'm active enough with all my children to to be able to do that. And if I don't have health, I don't have that. And, and the Army's the perfect avenue and the perfect way to get there. I'm already proud of them because they're working so hard. You know, I've already seen improvements and they're very excited and that makes me happy. I mean, we're, we're NCOs, we're leaders. We're trying to get them in shape and, and that's all working. It's, it's, they're seeing a difference already. The program is here to help soldiers exercise better, eat better, generally live a better lifestyle which will improve their career and allow them to continue forward in the Maryland Army National Guard. Take like a full minute and a half off? Just got it. Minute 20. Woo!